Hey guys, I hope everyone is good and safe. In the years that I have been dabbling with lenses, I have definitely had my fair share of playing around with some very weird lenses over the years, and today is just one of those days, I guess. Today I will be reviewing a lens that you can say is quite weird and quite unique. It's a 50mm f1.4 tilt lens by Astra Hari. So for some of you who don't know what a tilt lens is, this is what I found out in Google. According to Google, a tilt lens, also called a perspective control lens, changes the position of a lens in relation to a camera's image sensor. It does this by being able to flex the lens in various different positions. So yeah, that's basically what a tilt lens is. Anyway, back to the lens. Astro Curry is a small company based in China. A few weeks ago, they got in touch Hello. with me and asked me if I would be interested to review a new lens they have made. I agreed to do the review for them if they allowed me to keep the lens. However, full disclaimer, they didn't tell me what to say in this video, so I'm definitely going to be giving you guys my honest opinion about this lens, so don't worry about that. Also, as many of you guys subscribed to this channel may already know, my reviews are not about pixel peeping. They are more about sharing my personal experiences of what I thought about the lens. So if that does sound like the type of review you do enjoy watching, then I guess this review is definitely for you. Okay, so let's first talk about the build quality of the Astro Hurry 50mm f1.4 tilt lens. I must say when I first opened the package, I was definitely pleased with the build quality of the lens. The build quality of this lens is really good and it's really solid and it definitely has this premium feel to it so yeah I'm definitely well pleased with the lens the aperture ring and also the focusing ring is so well dampened you could be easily fooled to think that this lens is actually a premium lens when in fact it is actually a budget lens it is definitely very well made and I don't really have any complaints at all okay so let's now briefly go through the specs of this lens this lens is a fully manual lens so the aperture and the focusing ring is all done manually also the tilting function in this lens is also done manually too. This lens weighs around 340 grams, so it's definitely not a lightweight lens, especially considering its size. This lens is constructed from seven elements in six groups. In terms of aperture, this lens can be opened up to f1.4 and it can be closed down all the way to f16. As for the closest focusing distance, I didn't really have any information on that. However, after using this lens for quite a bit, I would say the closest focusing distance is about one foot away. As for the filter size, it uses a 46 millimeter filter thread okay so now let's talk about the usability and experience of using this lens I guess I have quite a few things to say about this lens using the lens was pretty much like any other manual lens I have used before this the only real difference is that this lens has an added tilt function to it I found that the image quality on this lens to be fair and not too bad in general however I would have loved that Astro Hori would have sent me the RF version because 50 millimeters is kind of close because I'm working on on the XF mount for my Fuji X-T4 and I find the 50mm works out to be something like a 75mm lens and at that focal length I don't really find the tilt feature to be as useful as a 50mm which is a standard focal length on a full frame sensor. Yeah I really did wish that they somehow gave me an RF version but yeah I guess I have to work with whatever I was presented with. One thing I did find about the focal length being about roughly 75mm on the XF lens it really didn't give me a lot of space to be used using the tilt function unless I was shooting outdoors and I was shooting from far away because at 75 millimeters it was really not that useful at times. Also despite this lens being an f1.4 lens don't be fooled by that fast aperture value too. This lens isn't the fastest of lenses unlike some 50 millimeter f1.4 lenses that I have used before this. The light transmission that reaches the sensor in this lens isn't that great and it drastically drops especially when you tilt the lens. So don't just assume just because you have the aperture set at f1.4, it will be okay because that's definitely not the case. I find this lens to be very niche as a lens, not a lens that you can just pick up like any other 50 millimeter lens out there. Bringing this lens out for a shoot definitely requires you to consciously decide that you would like to shoot some tilted stuff too. To me, the real strength in this lens has to be its special ability to transform 
any subjects into tiny miniature toys. I find that the ability to make anything look like miniature toys is just simply wonderful. And I just love that because I used to own a Canon tilt and shift lens and I used to love doing tilted stuff with that lens, making things just look miniaturized. So yeah, I do love that. However, again, because it works out to be a 75 millimeter lens, it would mean that I have to be really, really far away from the subjects even to get that miniaturized look. So yeah, I did find the focal length to be a little bit tricky to do that. Okay, in terms of chromatic aberration and lens flaring, this lens is not immediately great since you are kind of distorting light that enters the lens to begin with. So don't really expect too much from this lens, I guess, in terms of image quality, but it isn't really that bad. Anyway, here are just some more samples that I did manage to get from this lens. Anyway, I did manage to go out to the city to do some street shoots with this lens. So I hope you guys like some of the pictures I managed to grab. So what do I think about this lens and what are my conclusions after using this lens for a few weeks now? Hmm, I must say that this lens needs to be used for a really specific thing that you may want to achieve. To me, I can see using this lens with its tilt function for outdoor wedding portrait sessions. However, like I said, I don't find the 50 millimeter focal length with a tilt function on a crop sensor body to be that versatile in my opinion. I think to me, this lens would be more useful useful if you do decide using it on a full frame sensor. Also, I do find that this lens isn't a lens that you can just pick up as a daily 50 millimeter standard lens. It is definitely far from a standard lens in my opinion, because somehow I didn't really find the bokeh. If you use it as a standard lens, as pleasing if you didn't tilt it. So yeah, that's one thing I did find. In my opinion, where this lens really does shine is if you do have specific reasons you wanna use this lens. And in most cases, I found that only real reason I want to use this lens is if I really wanna get, you know, tilted looking miniaturized stuff with this lens. And that's where it really does shine in my opinion. So other than that, I didn't really find much uses of it. I mean, I did shoot some portraits with it and stuff like that, but yeah, yeah, I don't really find the focal length being the most useful focal length to have for a tilted lens on a crop sensor body like the X-T4. Right then, I guess that's it for my review this time. I hope you did find this review helpful and useful. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a like, comment and subscribe. Also, if you do feel like supporting this channel with a small contribution, I did leave a link to buy me a coffee in the description down below. Also, links to all the gears that I use to make these videos are also left in the description down below. So do check them out. Right then, I guess that's it for this video this time. See you guys in the next video. Peace.